if we can upload our brain process onto the computers, I think uh, we can survive forever. Well, probably it's not true, but uh, still, you know, computer has some uh, uh, the well, the limited lifetime, right? Of course, you know, much, much, much longer than humans, much longer than the organic bodies. But still, I think uh, computer also has the uh, kind of uh, limits for the life. I don't know the how, how long is it, but uh, so anyway, so that is another way to be, you know, the immortal. It is not human brain. Human brain is always active, and we are get, you know, getting some new information and processing something, you know, that we are conscious, right? So if you think, uh, you know, conscious brain is human brains, and computer cannot have uh, identical consciousness. If we have a different body, if the different sensations, different memories, you know, we want to have a different consciousness. So, uh, you know, we can save the, our memory, just the memories on the computers, but we cannot save the brain activity, total brain activity on the computer. It, you know, um, it's possible, right? So we, um, by using a computer, the computer behaves like a human. So that is possible, but uh, we cannot have identical uh, consciousness on the computers and in our brains. It's impossible, probably. And uh, the computer can memorize, can keep the uh, memories. Memory is just our part of uh, human brains, right? And, 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 and you know, we have uh, so many complicated functions, right? The, uh, uh, um, but the memory is just uh, one of the functions. So memories, for the memory, we can have uh, identical memory, probably on the computers. But uh, you know the computer may have a little bit different functions from a human brains, and then you know the computer even if computer uses memories, the computer uh, is going to have a different personalities, different uh, consciousness. In, in in the beginning, the personalities look similar, but uh, if computer gathering the uh, new information, right? So the computer uh, going to have a different personalities. So that is my guess. So if with the, with the Dimitri, we have a good people and a bad people, right? So we should not talk with the bad people, right? We, we, don't, you know, we don't like to get the bad influence, right? But the, the robot and the computers, if we carefully design the good conversations, right? The, if we implement the good moral to the computers, definitely the computer is, is much better than the bad people. The computer can be a kind of a text, textbook or you know, some guideline, right? Mm -hmm. So we, we should not use the bad computer, but uh, we should use a good computer. Mm -hmm. But it depends on societies. Always, society define what is good, what is bad, right? So when we are uh, fighting the uh, World War One and Two, you know, we killed each other. That was good things for us because uh, we, you know, it was war, right? But uh, now you know that we are living in a very peaceful uh, the societies, you know. We should not kill each other, mm -hmm. right? So always society define what is good, what is bad, right? So and I cannot define it, right? So society, always society define. The based on the current societies. Mm -hmm. So no, no, nobody knows what happened in the future societies. For example, the President Trump, you know, the, he just try to uh, protect the uh, American people, mm -hmm. right? And he is ignoring the global warming. Is that the right behavior or bad behaviors? You know, American leader is taking the good behavior or bad behavior? How do you think? How, you know, I, I want to ask the uh, opinion of European people. Mm -hmm. So Trump is better than computer or computer is better than Trump? You know? Okay, so, you know, do, do you know the definition of a human? Human is not just animal. Human is animal to use the technologies. Okay? And we are using a lot of technologies, and that technology is helping us very much. So without the technology, we cannot survive here, right? And uh, you know, if we don't use the technologies, we, 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 you know, we are going to be a monkeys, right? What is the difference, animal, monkey, and human? That is the technologies. Okay? So the, from the beginning, human is tightly coupled with a robot. We are almost robot. Look at you. Right, you are wearing the clothes and using the pens and notes, and uh, you know the we're taking a taxis and trains, right? You know maybe the, your activities, maybe ninety percent of your activities supported by technologies, almost robots, 
right? And in, in, in addition to that, if you watch the uh, uh, Paralympic Games played by handicapped people, so they don't have uh, arms and uh, legs, the, how do you see that kind of people? Uh, they, they, are they 100% uh, humans or 80% humans or 70% humans? How do you think? You know, they don't have arms and legs. So you think uh, they are 70% humans, 60% humans? No, they are 100% humans. Fresh body is not a requirement to define the humans. Okay? Even if we don't have fresh bodies, we can be humans. Therefore, I will say, right, human is almost a robot, and we, you know, that we don't care about the fresh body anymore in this society, in current societies. So robot can exist, can, well, uh, can be in the same society as humans. We can just coexist. We can just, uh, you know, well, the, uh, well, you know, the live in the same society. I think that is, uh, you know, the European people's ideas. In Japan, we don't have a slave. We don't have a hierarchy in the society. It's quite homogeneous. Therefore, we just accept the robot as a friend. But in American people and maybe European people, you know, the robot is a kind of a slave or you know, a tools, right? But uh, you know, as you have accepted the black people, right? Black people was a slave in the beginning, but uh, you know, you just accept it as a friend, right? I guess the same thing happens for the robot, right? Even if a robot is slave right now, you know, you want to accept the robot as a friend if you can have a good human relationships, human-like relationships with a robot. Mm -hmm. you know, human brain has a many function to recognize humans. Therefore, you know, human-like appearance and movement and talks is easy for understanding, right? especially for the humans. But if we have a longer interactions, so robot should, you know, does, the robot does not need to have a, a human-like appearance. More important things is uh, relationship. Yeah, that is a possibility. You know, now you know the, our activities are connected by internet, right? So alien just uh, just watch the uh, internet connectivities, and then you know, well, alien considers that this is uh, you know we are tightly you know connected by internet. So so the, the human is uh, life form is a kind of an individual. Do we have individual bodies? But uh, and the, if we uh, well, uh, if we focus on the information flows. You know, everything is uh, tightly coupled, and uh, and if alien observed our society like that, right? So the aliens don't consider the internet is the uh, a human well, not society. It's a kind of just a representative of you know of us, mm -hmm. right? So that is a possibility. So you know, you know, we cannot clearly define so the um, self and others. Where is the boundaries? You know, the self and others. They, once we use, uh, you know, internet technologies, inter -te you know, no, there is no boundaries. Always we can talk, we can access to the, you know, different people, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, the, the boundary of a self is very ambiguous. If, if uh, you know, the computer could have uh, uh, consciousness, so definitely we can have a more better interface. Right, you know, the current computer is not conscious. Therefore, you know, always we need to send us many, many questions. So, in order to reach the right answers, right, we need to, uh, we, we need to perfectly understand how to use a computer. But if a computer is, ha they could have a consciousness, the computer give us the probably just easy answers, the right answers quickly, right? That is a merit of a consciousness. Okay, but on the other hand, so if you know, the uh, well, uh, bad computer programmer develop their computers and give uh, some uh, bad moral to the computers. You know, computer may have uh, bad moral, then, you know, they, we're going to have uh, very dangerous the situations. So in such case, probably we, what we can do is uh, we can prepare the many computers. And in the many computers, you know, they, they're going to talk to each other. And uh, so it's a computer democracy, right? So that is one of the ideas, right? So one, one computer is dangerous, even if one computer is dangerous. If we have uh, 10 computers, you know, and uh, you know, the, we, by gathering the independent 10 computers' opinions, we, may have, uh, we, may, we, we can choose the best answer for that. Right? Mm -hmm. So the human is doing that, right? One person, one powerful person you know, uh, is very dangerous, right? Like, uh, well, you know, the, you have, we have, you have a sad story about the Nazis, right? Hitler's, 
right? And you know, always you know, the one person's decision is 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 not is is well, the is danger, right? Mm -hmm. Therefore, you know, the, we believe the democracy is better. Therefore, the, you know, the, we need to study more, right? So in order to use the uh, uh, powerful technologies, we need to be uh, more creative, right? We need to have more education, right? So otherwise, you know, we, can, we cannot use the advanced technologies. It's very dangerous. If stupid people use the uh, nuclear technologies, you know, that person, that people, you know, may destroy the, this world quickly, right? Mm -hmm. So, and, uh, well, uh, we need to develop both technologies and our intelligence. We never stop the technology development. But our goal is to survive, um, you know, the, well, in this cosmos, right? You know, the, I, I would think, uh, you know, the uh, human, our features like this. So now we are using the uh, organic bodies. Organic bodies, definitely we have a limited lifetime. It's about 120 years. So if we use a pro, uh, you know, well, the bodies consist of a proteins and some uh, you know, organic materials. So the, definitely we have uh, the limited lifetime, 120 years. This is uh, too short to survive in this cosmos. If uh, something happens on the sun, if something happens on the earth, right? You know, we just disappears. So you know, the the protein body is very very fragile, right? So this is a very fragile against the uh, uh, well, the nuclear radio wave, right? Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you know, but uh, in, in in the cosmos, so the cos uh, well, the, the space is uh, very 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 dangerous for the human human bodies. But if we can replace with uh, <laughs> mechanical bodies, if we can. You know, they use the computers and the robots as our bodies. So definitely we can survive in the cosmos. Consciousness is a kind of information flow, mm -hmm. right? So I, 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 I'm not a specialist for that, but nobody knows the, uh, you know, um, uh, what consciousness is, right? Consciousness is a kind of uh, the uh, well, information flows that happens in, a, in the complicated brain. And if we use a very complicated computers, computer may have a consciousness. How about the cat and dog and insect? How, how do you think? Do they have, a, you know, the consciousness or not? Have a cockroach, cockroach, you know, cockroach, they can have a consciousness or not, right? So they may have a consciousness. And this material, right? So there is some, uh, you know, something happened here, right? Mm -hmm. So does this desk has a consciousness or not? We don't know, right? But uh, you know, we don't care about the material, right? So my my, my hypothesis: uh, if a system is complicated, then the system can have a consciousness, right? If a uh, you know, system is uh, the complexity of a system, the system is is equal to the human brains, you know, well, that system can have a human-like consciousness. Mm -hmm. I think it's just a matter of complexities. It is not matter of material.